For the longest time, I didn't realize that you could get bridges this smooth without any supports. But there are a few settings that can take you from this to this. Why doesn't Bamboo Studio, or any slicer for that matter, automatically generate G-code that will produce a bridge this good? As far as I can tell, the main problem with printing bridges is that the filament settings and spacing account for flattened filament. Normally printed filament is squeezed onto the underlying layer, creating this sort of oval shape, but bridged filament without supports is printed in midair, so it is a circular shape and not as wide. It seems to me that the G-code produced by Bamboo Studio doesn't account for this and causes the filament to be strung out like a rope with nothing to the sides to hold onto and nothing below. But what if there was a way to increase the size of the extruded filament so that it still had some binding to the adjacent layer? Well, there is a setting that can do this. It's called Bridge Flow. I found this setting in the documentation and decided that this might solve a bridge quality issue that I was having. I assumed the range would be 0 to 1, because how can you increase the flow of filament to larger than the nozzle size? In Bamboo's own documentation, it says as much. By accident, I typed in 1.7 when I was trying to tweak this, and was surprised that it let me and did not throw any kind of error. So, out of curiosity, I printed a test piece with this setting. The results were tangibly different. Not great, but different enough from a standard print to warrant further experimentation. I printed pieces from 1 to 2 in 0.1 increments without supports to see how the surface finish was on the bridge. The results were not ideal, but as you can see, there was a pattern emerging between bridge flow 1.4 and 1.6, where there were these clear areas of smoothness appearing. This was interesting, but there was a lot of sagging around the edges of these smooth areas. Before I show you how I fixed that, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button if you like this experimentation type of format. That's a vote for me to keep making videos like this. Back to the video. How do you normally fix sagging in bridges? Well, you modify speed and temperature. So the next logical thing to do was slow down the printing in order to allow for better adherence between these adjacent lines and to allow the whole layer to cool more quickly. The only variable that I changed for this step beyond bridge flow was bridge speed. Each of these tiles was printed 10 millimeters per second, slower than the preceding one. The results here got way better. The finish on the surface was smoother than many of the bridges that I have printed with supports. But I wondered, could I reduce the last little bit of sagging or bubbling at the corners that you see here? Temperature is often related and could possibly explain some of the results that I got from the speed change. So I thought maybe reducing nozzle temperature could fix this. But as you can see here, reducing the temperature started to cause other issues and didn't really affect the sagging on the first few lines. Then I thought, Maybe if I shorten the distance that the filaments had to span when they were first being printed, then it could offer each adjacent line a more rigid structure to bind to. Well, that didn't really work either, producing some sagging as seen here. So the best results that I was able to create was with a bridge flow of 1.5 and a bridge speed of 10 millimeters per second. I hope this helps you out with your own printing and would love to learn if you find a way to reduce the last little bit of sagging around the corners that I mentioned here. Thanks for watching.